you and how it does in some bad weather. So this is night one. I'm expecting some fairly strong winds and some rain. Let's get the tent up. Wow. Got the wet. Hey guys, so a couple of things before I get the tent up. I have put some glue on the end of my trekking poles. That's because they're super slidey and the tent fabric is also super slidey. So it's easy for the tent poles to come down. With it being windy, I want to reduce the chances of that as much as possible. I've also got lots of extra pegs today. In my experience, because it's a tension tent, if the ground is soggy or loose, the tension of the tent itself sort of pulls the pegs through the ground. So. I've had to use multiple pegs sometimes facing in different directions and again with it being windy I think it's gonna rain as well we want it really anchored in as tight as we can let's get me poles in Number three going in that one. Not messing about with this tonight. Me tent's up. I don't think that's going to budge. I just don't think it's going to move with all those pegs anchoring it down. Unless something really crazy happens, like a hurricane comes through, I think that's going to stay put. But I've been wrong before, so we'll have to wait and see how it does. Wow. Okay, that just came off. Oh dear. First problem with the tent, the uh, little hook on the guy line that holds the doors, the doors out, has just been snapped by a gust of wind. So thankfully I've got carabiners with me. This is why I always have little carabiners hanging from my bag because they're just so handy if stuff breaks. I hope that'll hold. Mm. Oh, I've got my GoPro in my mouth here. Sorry, can't hear me. All right. I'm gonna do the same on this side, just in case. Okay. I've got carabiners on this side as well now, so that should be secure. This is a known issue with Landshans, the little plastic clips, they can break. My Landshan Pro 1, which I don't get on with for different reasons. I did actually switch the plastic clip for a little metal one that won't snap. So that's a really simple hack that can make a world of difference. So I should have done that on this tent really, but I wanted to see how it goes, how it is, you know? So that's another thing I would say is to definitely replace your little plastic clips with metal ones. And I'll be doing that with this tent when I get home. I have bought some string with me so that I can fashion like a drying line up here to hang my damp clothes on so I'll put that up then I can hang me soggy socks up okay guys so the tent has been up for a couple hours now despite a couple of hiccups early on it's not budging now it feels really nice and solid and I'm quietly confident that it's gonna stay standing all night there is rain forecast so I guess I will see you for that night Hello you guys, so the tent is still standing, yay! But it has let a load of rain in. I don't know where it's coming from. I mean, I haven't seam sealed this tent because the seams are taped, so you shouldn't have to seam seal it, but there is water coming in somewhere. I don't know if it's the attachment points on the sides maybe. Someone said they might let water in. There is some water sort of soaking along this bit here. So I don't know if it's coming through those bits, but it's not condensation because it's been so windy. There isn't any condensation, so it's definitely rainwater coming in. And thankfully, it's my bivvy bag and my dry bags that have kept all my stuff dry. So, yeah, I mean, 
night one, part of the tent broke and it slipped water in, but it has held up fine in pretty much constant wind all night. So yeah, let's see what night two brings. I don't know if you can see, but my pole has bent slightly from being under all that tension on it. I can't get it undone. Oopsie. See you tonight. Hi you guys. It's been a totally crazy day today and I'm here ready to pitch for night two. It's raining, it's windy. Let's do it. <laughs> side of the tent has gotten wet when I was setting up I wasn't careful enough about covering the inner with the outer that's why you bring a towel and stuff sometimes this stuff just happens a lot of water unfortunately I've decided to move the tent I think with all this rainfall that we're having that water level could rise You know like there's a loop that you put your pegs through it's split so I've had to make just an overhand knot to make another loop and put a knot in this end to stop that going through this bit here so I think it'll hold fine though it's, it's all right triple peg triple peg triple peg oh yeah Pulls down. Oh, Jesus Christ. This front pole just came down. Um, I don't know, I guess a gust of wind took it. Yeah. It's not faring so well. Bless my little land shanty. I am really glad to have tried it in this kind of weather while the temperatures are still warm. So that I know how it does um, and I think this is going to be my summer tent I, I still love it but it's hard work man and with this terrain being as hard as it is you just want to chill out when you get to camp at night and not have to worry about your tent falling over and stuff so I don't know if there's any more rain coming during the night if there is I will share that with you and I will see you guys in the morning bye <laughs> Night two was a bit broken because the tent just won't stay up. I don't know what's going on with these poles today, but they keep sliding inwards, making the whole tent really floppy. And then the wind's just like whacking it in your face all night. And I woke up this morning to it actually collapsing. Yeah, it's not holding up so well to the wind. But to be fair, if you catch it as they're sliding, you can just, like now it's sliding even, just push it back. Where it's supposed to be and even when it comes down completely it's pretty easy to just put it back up as long as your pegs have stayed in which they have because they've triple pegged them 
my grippy gluey bits that I've got on the top seem to have stopped working and gone all smooth so yeah I suppose you could use like a little cloth or something instead to make it a little bit more grippy right so I think this is a really great pre-season summer lightweight backpacking tent I still love it but it is not designed for this kind of weather I mean we know it's not designed for this kind of weather but because it's so lightweight and it goes up with trekking poles it's the sort of tent that people use for long distance hikes and when you're walking for hundreds of miles across the country or whatever you are going to encounter this kind of weather probably at some point so I think it's useful to know how it's going to do and what its limitations are and some considerations of extra things to bring to make sure you can stay warm and dry and safe if the tent is being a bit flimsy. So I would not recommend using this tent in cold weather because I think there is just too much that can go wrong with it. I think in warmer weather, if you're gonna be out in conditions like this, it's doable, but there's a few things to bear in mind. Firstly, I would make sure you're well practiced with tension tents before you head out in bad weather, if possible, because it can be quite stressful and quite worrying when you can't get it up so just have a good practice in a garden or a friend's garden. I would always allow plenty of time to pitch with this sort of tent. There's more that can go wrong. It's not as forgiving as a regular freestanding pole tent. It's a bit more fiddly. Just give yourself time and enough daylight to really get a pitch that you're happy with. Always bring a bivy bag because tents can fail and they do fail. And it's always good to know if your tent fails, if it leaks, if it breaks, if it falls down, if it blows away in the wind, you've got a waterproof bivy bag to keep your sleep system warm and dry. And it's really, really important. Bring a small towel or like a microfiber cloth or a sponge, just something to mop up leaks, condensation, just makes good sense really. Bring loads of extra pegs. I've bought with me for this trip three times the amount that came with the tent and I've needed them. If possible, I would try to make the top of your trekking poles a bit more grippy. I tried with glue, which seemed to work on the first night, but I think from the constant rubbing, it's sort of smoothed off again and now they're really slidey and it keeps sliding down. I would definitely, definitely change the plastic clips that hold out the doors for metal ones because the plastic ones are totally rubbish and they will just snap in a strong gust of wind. Always carry some carabiners in case things break and you need to fix them back together again. Carabiners are great. I just carry little tiny ones and pin them to the outside of my bag in case I need them. I have needed them this weekend and I'm really glad I bought them. So I think all things considered, this tent has done okay this weekend, but that's only because I had the things I needed to compensate for its failures. I will be using this tent in the summer. I still really love this tent. It is so spacious, it's so light, it's so beautiful, but I will definitely be needing something stronger and more reliable for the winter. So yeah, I hope that's been of some use to someone out there and uh, thanks for watching guys. I will see you again soon. Bye.